Hi guys, thanks for stopping by today at Old Smoke and Steve's. Uh, we're going to be smoking up a, a pork butt uh, for some pulled pork on a large uh, big green egg. And uh, we're going to be using a Chris Lilly recipe. Uh, it's won uh, six world championships. And uh, we're going to give it a shot on a large big green egg and uh, show you how it's done. Uh, we're going to do a small uh, pork butt uh, just weighs in a little over, uh, well, a little under uh, six pounds. And uh, I expect it to take, uh, well, maybe nine hours or so. So uh, we'll get prepped up. I'll show you uh, uh, what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to inject it, put some rub on it, and uh, uh, I'll show you how we're going to do that. And uh, also at the end of the video, I'll be including the uh, recipes for it. So uh, uh, let's grab that uh, pork butt out of the fridge and uh, get him prepped up. Okay, here she is. Uh, weighing in a little under six pounds. Uh, we have a little fat cap here on this side. <clears throat> it's not really too bad. Uh, brings up the uh, big debate of uh, uh, fat cap up or fat cap down. Uh, it's about 50%. Some people like it up, some people like it down. Uh, the people that uh, put it up say that the uh, fat tends to render down into the meat and makes it more juicy and the people that like to put the fat cap down says that we get a better bark on top so uh, you know no matter how you do it uh, I've done it both ways and uh, I can't tell any difference really uh, but uh, however you do it chances are you're not going to eat this fat you're just going to pitch it out so what old smoke and Steve's going to do today is uh, cut some of that fat off, we'll cut most of that fat off and we're going to put rub all the way around it and uh, so we'll get a bark all the way around. Old Smoke and Steve likes that bark. Uh, he likes to call it meat candy. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to trim this uh, fat up and uh, then we're going to get it injected and uh, then put the rub on. Okay, I got that uh, fat cap all trimmed off and uh, Here's what she looks like now. Uh, we'll be able to get uh, a lot of rub on there and get a nice bark on this side as well. And uh, here's what we trimmed off. Uh, quite a bit of fat here. Uh, you know, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't necessarily want to eat all this. I'd rather have the bark on the uh, pork shoulder. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to Go ahead and get this guy injected up and I'll show you how you do that. Okay, we got our injection all mixed up here. Uh, I'm going to include the recipe at the end of the video here. So uh, you'll have that. And uh, this here is a little cheap injector that we picked up, but uh, you can get these about any grocery store. So all you do is uh, put that in your liquid. and get that sucked up in your syringe and we're gonna poke this guy eh, quite a number of places about an inch apart and uh, as we withdraw the needle uh, we're putting it in the injection Okay, some of it's going to squirt out a little bit as you uh, put that in there. So you want to keep doing this and uh, go all the way around it, about every inch or so. And, uh, once you get this side done, uh, we're going to flip her over and uh, do the other side. Okay guys, uh, we got it uh, pretty much injected. Uh, we did both sides uh, and the edges, so uh, we got quite a bit in there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, wash your hands and uh, then get a rub on there. 
Okay, we're ready for a rub. Uh, there was quite a bit of liquid in the bottom of this pan here, so I went ahead and dumped most of that off uh, so it wouldn't be taking a rub off. So uh, I got this uh, rub here, that uh, a mixture that I uh, used from uh, Chris Lilly's recipe. I'll be including that too in the video, so uh, just hang in there. Just want to put this all over it, kind of pat it in a little bit. There's enough of this injection hanging around on the uh, pork butt to make this rub stick, so we don't need to coat it with olive oil or anything like that. Okay, here's that fat cap side that uh, where we cut the uh, fat cap off. So we're going to have some more meat candy here on this side. I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, like I said, I've tried it fat cap up, fat cup, cap down. Uh, but what I really like is this meat uh, candy or bark. So I figured we'd give this a try and uh, see how it comes out. Uh, that's the beauty of barbecuing. Uh, you can mix it up a little bit, try different things, and uh, see what you'd like. So that's it. We got a nice uh, coat of rub on there and got them all injected up. And I'm gonna put that in the fridge, uh, put a plastic bag over it, and uh, put it in the fridge and uh, let it set overnight. Uh, then we'll get up early in the morning and uh, fire up that smoker. Okay guys, uh, it's the next morning and uh, we're out here at the grill, out here at the Big Green Egg, and uh, we just lit the grill up. Uh, we're gonna be uh, letting it go here for a minute, uh, and then we're gonna be, gonna be shutting the lid and uh, adjusting the dampers and uh, getting the temperature up to uh, 250. And that's the temperature we're going to be smoking at today. Okay, here it is. Uh, we got the grill up to 250. Uh, it took about 20 minutes. And uh, we got an Inkbird uh, probe uh, stuck into the uh, pork butt to monitor the temperature. Uh, we're going to let that uh, close the lid and uh, let it smoke for a couple hours. Uh, then we're going to come back and look at it and uh, give it a little spritz with the uh, uh, leftover injection. Uh, we'll be spritzing that about every hour or so uh, until the internal temperature is about 200. Uh, then we'll pull it off off the grill and uh, let it rest for a little bit. So we're going to close the lid for now and uh, let her smoke. Okay guys, uh, the uh, pork butt's been on there for about two hours. Uh, the egg temperature is 246 and the pork is 122. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and open this lid up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, spritz it with some of the uh, leftover injection. Uh, now normally I leave this lid shut during the whole cook, but uh, since I have to spritz it, uh, I'm going to have to open the lid. So when you open it, uh, be sure to burp it. Okay. You want to let that air in there gradually. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a little spritz. And shut the lid. And we'll come back in another hour, hour and a half or so and uh, give it another spritz. Okay guys, here it is, uh, uh, internal temperature about 196, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off of here. Uh, it's been uh, on the smoker now for 10 and a half hours, so uh, it took a little longer than uh, normal. Uh, we had a long stall, so uh, we had to work through that stall. So uh, 10 and a half hours in, 196, uh, we're going to pull it, uh, take it inside and wrap it up and uh, let it rest for a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and pull it. 
Okay, uh, we got the uh, pork in here and it rested uh, well, for about 20 minutes or so and uh, I went ahead and pulled it and it's looking mighty good. It's nice and juicy. Uh, pulled apart real good and uh, one thing about it, uh, it's got plenty of bark. So, uh, you know, that's what I like, all that meat candy. Uh, so I think that pretty much uh, puts an end to the debate. Uh, fat cap up or fat cap down. Uh, I think I prefer uh, no fat cap at all. That way I don't have to pick it out of there and toss it out. And plus I get more uh, bark on the, my meat. So uh, if you haven't tried that yet, uh, give that a try. Uh, it's been a long day, uh, 10 and a half hour smoke. And we had some biz visitors today, uh, the Sand Hill Cranes. Uh, looked that up after I saw them uh, birds out there. And uh, they're Sand Hill Cranes. And, uh, you know, I don't know a whole lot of Sand Hill Crane language, but uh, I heard one of them say, Oh, Smoking Steve's cooking something today. He's smoking something up, and I think we smell meat candy. So uh, they're on it, you know. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a, a taste test here and uh, see what it's like. Grab me a little piece here with a little of the bark on there. Our meat candy, as old Smoker Steve likes to call it. So we're going to give this guy a little taste. Oh my. That melts in your mouth. The rub is delicious, nice and juicy. Yeah, it's a winner. Guys, uh, be sure to subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, we got a lot coming down the road here. Uh, a lot more cooks coming up, uh, some more product reviews and uh, whatnot. So uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, ring that little bell so you get notifications. See you on the next one.